Hey there, I'm going to show you how to install and download iPod games for free. For example, QS2, Bejeweled, Zuma, Tetris, or even Pac-Man. Alright, so first of all, plug in your iPod into your PC. And once the sync is complete, make sure you have enabled disk use. So if you have that enabled, you'll see your iPod as a disk drive. Alright, so to see this iPod control folder, you're going to have to go to folder and search options, view, hidden files and folders, and click on show hidden files, folders, and drives. Okay, now you can see the iPod control, games row. Just minimize that for later use. Now we're going to have to go to this post on my website. I have the link on the video description and here's a list of the games you can download let's say I want to download Tetris just save it wait for it to download dun, 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 dun. and once it's finished just extract it to the games row folder we saw before just extract the folder Bam, there you go. Now, you have the games on your iPod, but it won't work just yet. You're going to have to install a firmware file into your iPod to make it work. So, to do this, you'll need an application called iPod Wizard. Once again, I have the link on the video description on the right, so don't worry. Once you're there, just click latest version, download it. Wait for for it to finish, and extract the files. I already did so on this new folder. Now run as administrator. Close the tip. And on this application, you're gonna have to go to edit mode and click firmware file. Oh, firmware file. There we go. Now you're gonna have to choose from two firmware files from the 5G firmware or 5.5G firmware depending on which iPod you have I have the 5.5 so I'll download that once it's finished here it is go to open firmware search for it double click wait for it to load and here it is you can see everything now you're gonna have to click right on iPod, right to iPod, and just wait for it, accept everything, and it, everything should work fine. Your iPod will restart, and if you go to games, extra games, you will be able to play where, whatever games you added. So, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you back everything up before doing this, and I hope you have fun. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, be sure to ask and I'll be sure to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.